Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and in today's video I want to show you guys what to do and how to use acetone for your gas tank and how to get more miles per gallon using acetone. And I have several other products that I want to show you and I will explain why I have those here. I have an empty container where I reuse actually. I have some sea foam, Royal Purple Max Clean, some Marbles Mystery Oil, the acetone of course, and then some gummy bears. And you might be wondering why do I have gummy bears here? It's no reason. I just like them. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so let's get to it. Now, this video will actually be, will be a recap of one of my previous videos that show you what not to do uh, when using acetone. And I have another video which I'm going to delete. It, I believe it's poor quality. I'm going to remake it with this and what to do when using some of these products. I'm, I'm going to go more in depth and more in details on how these work and how it, benef how it may benefit you in getting more miles per gallon when used with it and combined. Anyway, let's get right to it. Uh, the recap for what not to do when using acetone basically entails that, let's say you use two, three ounces of acetone and you put it in your gas tank and you fill it up entirely. You got a full tank gas. And during the week, you use it up to like one quarter of it and you have one quarter of a gas tank left, but then you wanna fill it up again and pull more acetone. If you do that, chances are you're going to ruin the batch and you're not gonna get any benefit. In, in fact, it actually be detrimental, which has happened to me a couple of times where I tried to do that. Instead of me getting 26, 28 miles per gallon, I ended up getting 19, 20. So it ruins the batch. And um, with today's and cars and engines, they're very advanced, they're very computerized. The car tries to um, make up what you giving it basically uh, if you put too much acetone to very little the computer is trying to determine okay what's going on here do I put more gas or put less so the car can struggle a little bit and sometimes you may ruin the batch it will not hurt your car but you know you're gonna lose some miles per gallon now for the remake of the video which I want to show you what to do when using acetone I'm gonna go into details now now every car is different uh, you may have four three, six, 10 cylinders on every car, different displacements, different computer systems, how, they, how it manages fuel. So I found a way to, uh, to make it far less volatile and that you have to make far less math in order to get it right. And that's when you combine acetone with a few additive like these, like a sea foam, Royal Purple, uh, Royal Purple Max Clean, and Marbles um, Mystery Oil. If I were to pick any one of these, I'll probably go with the marble because one is cheaper and it does work just the same. So this is how it works. I'm going to show you what to do, how to experiment with your car so you can get the max results uh, without, you know, ruining the batch at all. You're going to need a measuring cup like this, where it shows the ounces at the very bottom. Okay, so yeah, you're going to measure ounces. This one goes from two to four to six. You, I will, if you have a regular normal car, like a sedan, hatchback, minivan, I wouldn't recommend go more than four ounces. And the way it works is like this. You're going to get a container that you can actually reuse. You're gonna actually use a, uh, a funnel, pointy funnel. You're gonna do half and half. Half one of the um, few additives, half of the acetone. Take, fill it up to halfway. I'm gonna make some spills. Yeah, I thought so. That's about halfway. Boy, that smells strong. I hit a gummy bear. <laughs> then you're gonna fill the other half with the additive of your choice. Again, if you get any of these additives, I will say pick the one that's cheapest. If you see one in special for three or four bucks, get it. You know, it's, it's not bad. This one is about $7 at Walmart probably my Amazon too. This was a little more expensive, the Royal Purple one. This was 11 bucks, but I had it on special once. I got it on special on Amazon for like eight bucks, so I got it a little while back. And this one's about 15 bucks a gallon, so <laughs> this is a better value. So now that you got the acetone, you're gonna mix in your, your fuel additive. Yeah, I'm making a mess. Oh well. There we go. Beautiful, Woo, look at that mess I made. That's why I got a rag. <laughs> so in there you have the mixture that you want, half and half. 
Now, once you have the mixture like so, uh, I usually keep it on a quarter of the trunk of my car. Um, I usually keep a rag like this with it. So whenever you're done, you can actually clean the bottom of the cup. And uh, whenever you reuse it again, if you keep it in the car, you will notice that it's sort of dust particles and little pieces of crap in there. You wanna remove that. You don't want any that in your gas tank. So now, the formula. How to use it exactly. Now, my last gummy bear. How to use it. Now that, now that you have the mixture with half and half, half the acetone and half the fuel additive, whichever one you pick, you're gonna start playing with one ounce first. You're gonna actually measure with the measuring cup, get up to one ounce, put it on a gas tank that's near empty, then fill it up, fill up the gas tank. Then the, the little trip meter on your car that you actually get to measure, you know, how many miles you do on the trip, reset it, put it on zero, and run the entire gas tank. So like a week or two, however long it may take you. Once you actually bring it near empty, you're gonna fill it up again, and you, uh, and you fill up the gas tank. And the second gas tank, put two ounces, but at the same time, find out how many gallons it took to fill up your tank. Then look at the uh, miles that you actually did with the entire gas tank. Let's say you did 350 miles and it took 12 gallons of, uh, of gasoline to fill up the gas tank then. You go ahead, get the 350 miles, divided by 12, and you get your average miles per gallon. Then in the same gas tank, you're gonna put two ounces, and you're gonna, do, you're gonna repeat the same process with two ounces, three ounces up to four ounces. Don't, don't go over four ounces, you probably won't need it. It'll be a total waste if you do. Uh, then you're gonna measure which one gives you the most, most miles per gallon. So if it's two ounces or three ounces, then you stick with that. You continue to use three ounces for your car, for your specific car, and then you get to enjoy some more miles per gallon. And I'll give you a small example of how good it works. My car is a 2009 Volkswagen Golf with a 2.5 liter engine. It has five cylinders. They call it the Rabbit here in the US. Um, when, the, when I first got that car, it was giving me about 20, 20 to 21 miles per gallon. I did a few uh, cleanups, you know, got new spark plugs, changed the, changed the oil, changed the, oil, um, uh, the air filter, and I was getting about 22, 23. But then when I bump into using acetone with the additive, I started getting between 26 to 28 miles per gallon. There were a few times that I got 30, but that was mostly highway miles that I did mostly highways. And then, um, so yeah, that's why I give you guys an example. So this video again is just a recap of one of my videos and a remake of another. I'm going to delete that one. Again, it's poor quality. I hope this information has become useful for you guys. I hope you get to actually experiment and play with it again. Uh, any uh, any few additives, good brand additives will actually do the job. Uh, just get the cheapest and you'll be just fine. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, just leave it right down below. I'll be happy to actually answer it. I will also put a, um, a link to uh, the first video, what not to do. So again, thanks for watching. Take care.